What's going on guys? Um, today I'm going to show you a tutorial how to route your Sony Ericsson live with Walkman. It could also be for any other any other phone, I suppose, if you just look for the right uh, firmware um, software to download. So I'm going to be showing it for this phone. Um, uh, the reason I'm making this uh, tutorial is because I had to look for it for ages. The only way I could do it was by routing it on uh, 2.3.4 on the Android version, which I didn't really like because I preferred the 4.0.4. So I've now finally found a way how to upgrade it, um, well, how to route it, I mean, without having to unlock your bootloader or any other thing. You, all you have to do is to flash it, and I'm going to explain all that in the video. So. First of all, you need to download the files in the description, and then it would look something like this. Um, the first thing you have to do is you have to download Flash Tool. Here's Flash Tool, and then you go into file. Uh, you have to put look for your drivers. You have to make sure you have the right drivers in it from from your phone. And to find the right drivers for in your phone, you have to install. Uh, Sony, what was it? Sony Companion. Uh, yeah, Sony, Sony PC Companion 2.1. You have to download that, and you have to try and look for where it came from. It will be like, uh, it will be in your computer, and then it will be in Program Files, Sony, Sony PC Companion, and then you have to look for Drivers, which is there click on drivers and you just copy all these and you copy them into the flash tool here so when you download flash tool it would ask you to extract it somewhere you just need to extract it to a file I've called my file flash tool so all my files from my flash tool are in here you just extract it to a file then here in drivers you paste what you got out of the drivers from the PC Companion. Now you've got all the drivers you need to make sure um, downgrade your phone now. So first of all you have to downgrade it and then you can install the root and then you have to um, upgrade it again to 4.0.4 uh, with another software which would let you keep your um, root software. So um, uh, go to firmwares now and no no download oh, where is it download um, the the links in the description again um, here in downloads you will find uh, this one it is the firmware 4.0.2.a.0.1 0.58 that's what it's called yeah you double click on it and then you get it you open it with a WinRAR or WinZip whatever then you get this and then you put it into the into the firmware of your of your flash tool it says uh, there's a folder called firmware you just put it in there like this and then it will just extract it all in there um, there, I already have it in it so I'm not going to do it or anything so then here you have it then you just go back and then you just run the, if you have 64 bit you run the flash tool 64 otherwise it's the normal one I'm going to run this one you just run it and it would give you instructions and now it's saying yeah just to connect your phone so I'm just going to do this there you go um, to um, use a uh, flash tool I would uh, you don't have to but I would go to applications no what am I doing developer options and then you would put on USB debugging make sure you leave that on USB debugging and wherever it is um Whereabouts is it?
and unknown sources. You you have to allow unknown sources to to download, which you can find underneath the security tab. So then, when you've done this, you just uh, go here back onto your flash tool. You press flash here. This flash mode. It might ask you what what the, um, what phone you have. It's an X10. So then here you see. Well, normally you would only get one. You look you look for the one which is at, uh, which ends with 0.58. Then you so 4.0, 0.2, 0.8, 0 0.58. That's the one. Then you just go, just leave everything, just click it, and then you just go, OK. And then it just says preparing for flashing. It will uh, tell you what to do now. Just let it do its thing here. Now it says to unplug your phone, so you just unplug it, and then it says to switch it off. Just power it off. Just wait and there now it's off. So now it tells you to connect your your charger. Yeah. And before well before you put it in you press the down this button here. It's the, the volume down button. And while you're pushing it, pressing it, you need to connect it. And then when you do this, yeah, then a uh, green light shines. And then the flash, the flash tool will start doing its work. So now it's just flashing everything. When it's almost done, it's now at 99%. It would tell you to disconnect your phone. There, it now says to please unplug and start your phone. So you just unplug it, and then you just turn it on. Now you've started it up, which will take a while. You just do whatever the phone asks you to do. You'll see that it's 2.3.4 version again of Android. Uh, now you just go to your settings to check if it's all good. You go back all the way to the bottom and then you check here, all the way on the bottom. You check, you can't see it, but it says build number. And with me, it says 4.0.2.A.0.58. That's the one that we just. Um, flashed onto the phone so this is a version of your uh, phone now which is older because before it ended with a 6.2 or it was a 4.1.4 version so yeah now you just connect your phone again just while it's running doesn't matter uh, make sure you put it on uh, debugging so you, on this it's different now you have to go to uh, applications and then you go unknown sources you need to put on and then development and then USB debugging you put on as well just like before and then you go back and then now you go into the folder Xperia root oh no no you first of all have to root the thing and this you will use easy root by Dreamlord you press run me it asks you it, uh, it tells you everything what you have to do and all that which I just told you then you press enter it will then start doing all the stuff it has to do this will take a while too this will just this is actually the root of your phone and then after this um, you have to use a software that will let you keep your your root for the next for the high version of 4.8.4 .4. and then after that you install the 4.8.4 .4 and then you're done so it's, it's not as hard as you think you just need to find the right software alright now it's done uh, your phone will reboot by itself so don't touch it for the moment it just says uh, all done press any key to continue so yeah now my phone will reboot and you can check if your phone is rooted now by seeing if it has got the application super user inside the application menus which I'll show you so yeah you just go like this you skip this you've probably already installed PC Companion by now 
Um, here, all the way at the end, it's this application there is called Super User. This is your root application that gives you control of your whole, whole phone. So if you're happy now, you wanted a root, rooted phone, you just stop here. But this is the old version of Android, which you can see no no blue or anything when you do the volume, well, the blue stripe and all that. So that's nice. So to get it back to 4.0.4, uh, well, no, to actually let the root stay while you update it, you have to install, um, download Xperia root, and then the first, the one called local prompt, this one, you double click, this gives you uh, things as well, or details, and make sure your phone's still debugged and you've let unknown, um, the unknown sources allow to get downloaded on your phone. So then you just press enter, it says connect, yeah, what to do again, debug, uh, make sure it's debugged, and make sure your phone's awake, so just wake it up, whatever you do. Yeah, there. Then you press enter. This will do its thing. Won't take as long. There, it's already done. It now says uh, when updating with PC Companion, do not factory reset. I'm not going to use um, Companion because I don't think uh, don't use PC Companion because it would only install the new version of 2.3.4, which isn't the 4.0.4 that we want it will just bring it back to the software your phone comes in the box in so we're not going to use that you have to download the other firmware which is the 4.1.b.0.4.3.1 which is this one and this one is the software that you need well just uh, oh yeah, you just reboot your phone just to be sure before because uh, you've got all the stuff installed on it now so then you do the same thing to install the software, uh, the firmware again. You go onto your flash tool. You go. You've already got your drivers, so keep the folder. You've already got all your drivers from a uh, from PC Companion, like I told you before. Now you just go on firmwares. You can leave all the ones that you've already downloaded in there. Um, I'll just open the 4.1. Here you see the firmware. So now you just put it into the flash tool, firmware one. Just check if it's the right one. Yeah, and then you just drag it into there. You let go. All good, and then it should go in there. But I've already got it in again, so I won't. I won't let it. You see, it's already in there. I'll skip this. And then you go back. Same thing. Just then, you launch your flash tool. Turn on your phone again. I just turned off because I needed to. I wanted to restart it. Uh, your f the flash tool will recognize your your phone again when it started. It takes a while. There. What's this? Oh, that's nothing. All right. So here you can see. Um, do the same thing as then. You do the flash flash mode then you look for the one that is called 4.1.b.0.4.3.1 uh, so 41b0431 this is the one you need um, when you do this make sure you do these things you uncheck these boxes wipe data wipe cache and wipe app logs yeah you just make sure you uncheck them otherwise it will delete your router which is the whole point you actually done all this uh, then you just do ok it's preparing for the flash again it will tell you to turn off your phone and do the same thing I just said see that it's telling you what to do again so we're going to do that unplug the phone Uh, I'm going to remove my battery because it didn't want to shut down. There you go. Just go like that. 
do the volume button thing again. I'm holding it and then just plug it in. Oh bollocks, did it wrong. <laughs> get out the battery again. Right, hold the volume down. There, green light is on. Now it will flash the data again. Uh, I'm going to turn off the camera, be back in a sec. There, now it has flashed it almost again. It's at 99%. That tells you to unplug the cable, restart it, start it up again. Alright, so now you have installed 4.0.4, you connect it to the computer again. there if I can get it in. Now you go back to your file where you found everything where you installed everything you go back to your Xperia root and then you do the push root the second one this one push root files you click and then now you just have to follow these instructions so press enter waiting for device Then it's just doing everything. Press enter to exit. Now you just wait for your device to reboot. Like this, skip that. And then we go and check. Here it is. There you go. It's right here. That's your super user. Now your phone is rooted again. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope I could help you. I'll put all the links in the description. And if something goes wrong, you should not worry that much. If it like freezes your screen or something goes wrong during the flash, you just need to go to your PC companion, which is here. Just open your PC companion. and then you go start and then you do your phone software update and then you just do repair phone right here yeah so try to show you again you go here start phone software update and then repair phone and this will just install everything like it was when you got it from the factory uh, remember also to back up your data alright so I'm out